working in the same company as Sargam is pretty smart he's 19 3 4 years ago i was in grade 11 properly before that i used to do a little bit of coding but not a lot of projects i had learned python and i used to build minor projects with turtle and pygame and stuff like that what all projects do you have that you know impressed them so well okay so one of the major projects i showed them was today was my first day actually just <laughs> i just attended the stand up so do you have similar project ideas for other people you are working full time now but if someone's free right now and wants to build a, an aggressive project that you know gets them hired all right hello everyone and welcome to a new pod today we have ankur ankur is from super 30 free he is also from the nepali gang if for those of you who don't know uh, sargam preferred a few people from nepal friends and family uh, that came to the super 30 campus he's one of them he's 19 he recently got into the same company as sargam uh, he got an offer of it's 15k a year 15k a year for 15k us dollars per annum that's 13 lpa or close to that um working in the same company as sargam um, he is pretty smart he's 19 he's also joining the 100x devs university or campus uh, so he'll also be a your batchmate in case you join the college right Yes, मैं फोर्स कर रहा हूँ उसे तो सिंस ही डजन हैव अ डिग्री राइट नाउ यू नो इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर अस दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिटी दट यू विल गेट देर वील अंडरस्टैंड इज जर्नी हाउ मच कोडिंग ही ऑलरेडी नोज ही स्पीडी गुड एट कोडिंग दिस वॉज इज फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू ही क्रैक्ट द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड यू नो वॉट ऑल द प्रोसेस वॉज लाइक हाउ डज ही लर्न सो विद दट अंकुर वेलकम कैन यू गिव अस अ ब्रीफ बैकग्राउंड सो टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ आई स्टार्ट एट कोडिंग इट वॉज लाइक Three years ago, maybe I was in three four years ago. I was in grade eleven properly. Before that, I used to do uh, a little bit of coding, but not a lot of projects. So I had learned Python, and I used to build minor projects with Turtle and Pygame and stuff like that. I used to write uh, content on Python for <laughs> for an Indian website. And uh, majorly, I started coding after my twelfth. So as soon as I completed my boards, I joined a company. Uh, I had to do a lot of uh, very basic DevOps there. so there were no any seniors uh, the whole company was run by interns and uh, i had to learn devops in like a month and very basic devops not uh, i i did not do any kubernetes there but later i had to do somewhat like ecs and ecr and stuff like that so that was mm, okayish and after that i joined uh, an american company but they were paying Nepali salary. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, what Indians are doing the same thing, right? So there, I worked as a backend plus DevOps. I used to do a lot of DevOps with AWS and DigitalOcean, and a little bit of Express with Postgres and stuff like that. Uh, we had to like uh, work with a lot of these e-commerce platforms. Used to give a, a a flat file, and we had to process them and. do stuff with database so that was that and after that i started moonlighting at uh, two three companies at some at one point i was also doing at four but uh, yeah pretty soon after i started working like that i got burnt out and some companies started finding out i was working elsewhere also oh really they started, started firing <laughs> <laughs> they started firing one of the companies uh, uh, that already like burned all of their funds and after they fired me like 2 3 months they sold the product to someone else in finland i guess and yeah everything was pretty sad <laughs> life was pretty sad and uh, i used to talk to sargam a lot because we had like met way before in a coding competition in nepal itself and uh, we used to go back and forth like very minor updates and he said if you want to come like has a has an opportunity and i said why not and i came here the first few days like a month was like a bit uh, i don't know i had some i had difficult time to like catch up to this noida <laughs> and uh, after that everything was cool i started building on building projects i started working on minor stuff major stuff and last uh, last week i had an interview with uh, uh, sargam ceo and he liked me after that uh, in the technical round the uh, engineers liked me and i like shown them a list of 10 12 projects so that was a major reason for my selection and yeah i'm currently working there today was my first day actually just <laughs> i just attended the stand up and yeah that's pretty much it very cool uh, 
just to give people context uh, i keep saying this you know age is not a number in in uh, coding like if you, you can be really good at at 19 is a good example i refer two people at drop station him and another person the other person has two years of experience and they weren't able to get in and he got it probably because he has four years of coding experience even though he's 19 so specifically in coding it's a very brutal field that way if you know coding well uh, your age background college degree drop out years of you know experience slash how much gap that you have doesn't really matter your skills are the things that matter so you know even i was very curious and i almost sure ke you know the other person would get in because two years of experience versus a fresh you know 19 year old uh, but the feedback that he gave me was you know we want to take a bet on ankur uh, because we feel he'll do really well here and the other person also had a decent interview but you know eventually did not get in uh, so with that i would love to know what your interview looked like okay so with the ceo the interview was pretty chill he just asked me what my previous experiences were and nothing technical he just asked me to show if i had any projects to like showcase i showed him like two projects he was uh, i showed him like three projects but one of them was not like i did not make it responsive and the first thing he did was check if the website was responsive <laughs> <laughs> and he was like uh, okay this is not this is not that much of a problem the other websites are good so don't worry about it and after that he uh, scheduled a call with the engineers and i think kiri and keshav i think you know keshav the both of them were in the inter- the call and most of the call was like uh, i'm me showing them my projects and not them asking me question <laughs> but uh, in the last maybe 5 10 minutes they were asking me very generic questions nothing nothing to technical the technical questions were only when i was showing them the projects so no ds stuff no react internals <laughs> what all projects do you have that you know impressed them so well okay so one of the major projects i showed them was uh, recently i've been working on a, a website builder kind of thing with sargam and there is this another, another person called silson sapkota so we are somewhat close we've been talking we've been friends for like maybe a year or two and yeah we are we've been building this for like two months and uh, there is this reference for us that's a wise back uh, that's also a wise back company so most of the features we build are a reference from that product but yeah that was a major project other projects were like uh, ui clones uh, maybe two three were ui clones from figma figma files and one of them was a podcast website i uh, built for a client uh, so since that aligned with the company even the station dot page so that helped maybe uh, another project uh, another project was that uh, i built uh, that included react emails so what keshav told was even we are trying to work on this so this should be this is even better so yeah that's i think <laughs> that's what i remember but uh, i made a whole notion doc about it and shared the link in the first minute of the meeting and just started talking about the notion doc great do you have a can you do you mind if we share the notion doc with everyone <laughs> i'm not sure big pause yeah any reason you you're not comfortable sharing it uh, yeah okay okay that's good all right cool i think that will help you guys understand you know the kind of projects you can build uh, i think webcraft is a great product uh, yeah building is it is really hard so do you have similar project ideas for other people you are working full time now but if someone's free right now and wants to build a, an aggressive project that you know gets them hired or is very technically teaches them something okay so there's this uh, project my friend the previous one i told you about selson he has built a project called prismify so that's like a photo editor for like which like we can do ma- things with background images and gradients and text and fonts and everything stuff like that and there's a lot of work with canvas there so something similar but for videos would be a great project like that would you be a crazy product to for engineers right so building a video editor or something like that yeah that's very cool that's one of the project i was thinking of building so web based like something like in video or you yeah, know yeah exactly exactly like in video all right yeah i think that's great if someone can build it um very curious to understand you know how you would build something like this and there are a bunch of front end primarily a front end challenge and some back end challenges in finally rendering the video uh, but that's a great product any other ideas you have not quite why are you doing a degree like honestly you don't have to so i'm just curious no pressure from my side <laughs> the major reason for it 
like getting trying to get a degree is my family <laughs> so even though i've been working for like 2 years like they pressure me into getting a degree yeah to get a degree is actually should be important been the case for most uh smart people that or you know whatever people who already have a job or you know curious kids slash uh prodigies who are joining most of them is ki parents are pressurizing for a btech degree which is why i'm getting one so great that works out for me uh, yeah. okay what do you tell someone okay let's say for the younger audience uh, why do you start to code so early like were you curious do you want to make money yeah the major reason for starting to code early was how can i make money so that was the easiest way i found at that time <clears throat> but uh, if i could like start over i would like work very consistently the major reason for like not getting a job faster was i was not consistent enough so it took me a lot of time lot of like i started coding um, I, like my first line of code properly was maybe in grade 10 but i my first job my first actual coding job was after my tools right so the three years i spent like nothing there's no like uh, very competitive exams in nepal like ge or something like that here so i mean they are competitive but for <laughs> i i was not focusing in them so i was not even focusing on learning to code right so if i could start over like i would be very consistent for this yeah for <laughs> i don't know what to say i have no motivation to share but for me the major reason for learning to code was money all right cool. now i think uh, there has uh, built i have built some passion for it but yeah Initial motivation. Initial motivation. Cool. What's your plan with Webcraft? Uh, so uh, it's almost launchable. Like me, few bugs are there. Uh, maybe we will launch in like a week or two. But yeah, as we as we've talked to you, <laughs> one of our first clients will be uh, the company you talked about. So yeah, I think we will be working with that company before we launch. Yeah, this company. So, Who's yeah, office you're in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So after that, we'll properly launch. I'm very curious. This is like a very good product. Uh, very big market. Premier, uh, Webflow are you know big companies in this niche. So the one thing that comes with AI or whatever is you know anyone can build a product. Sahil had a tweet recently. Okay, you know this happened with finance. Okay, you know initially finance salaries were really high and then they plateaued. Then everyone opened their own hedge fund. So there's a very high probability this happens eventually. Because since it's easy to build products and let's say people are not paying extravagant salaries, then people will start to build their own products. So this is like a great. sort of a outcome that is going to happen in a few years and if you can capitalize on it i would i would do that so cool with that thank you ankur for joining thank it was you. great talking to you and we'll see you in the next one